Hi, and welcome to our look at the Friars at Ellsford, or more specifically, the Priory. And if you enjoy this, then why not click like, and you can always subscribe to catch more of our travels. So where are we then? We're in the southeast corner of the UK, in the county of Kent, roughly 35 miles or 50 kilometers from the center of London. This little bit of tranquility is sandwiched between two of Kent's major motorways, the M2 and the M20. Its closest railway station is Alsford, and it's roughly a 25 minute walk of around about a mile or so. So let's take a look then, and we'll start with the Duck Pond. This beautiful little spot is the first place you'll come across after leaving the car park. And as you can see, this is a place of peace and tranquility that's open to people of all faiths. And it's also home to our local farmer's market. I'll drop a link below to give you details of when that's on. But the main reason for us to be here is just to enjoy the serenity of the place. Now let's start with a little bit of history. The Priory is home to an order of Carmelite monks who first set up home here in 1242. And this was the first chapter of the order outside of the Holy Land. And it stayed that way for a further 300 years until the dissolution of the monasteries in 1538 when the friars were forced to leave. And they didn't return until 1949 some 400 years later. Now you're free to wander around and enjoy this place. And talking of free, it's free to visit. There's just a request for a small donation at the car park. Most of the medieval structure was damaged by a devastating fire in the 1930s, but since the friars returned, they have restored it to its former glory. You may notice in the great courtyard an archway in the corner. This leads to the water gate and onto a small area overlooking the river Medway. Also in the great courtyard is the Pilgrim's Hall for those making their way to the shrine of Thomas Becket in Canterbury Cathedral, some 30 miles away. We're now going to head through the Priory towards the main shrine. As I guess is obvious, this is an active religious order and they hold many events at this site. I'll pop a link into the Friars website below so you can find out more. The first thing to say is the marquee is temporary and generally there over winter. Conscious that this is a place of worship I want to be as respectful as I possibly can here. The shrine features a statue to the Virgin Mary, carved in the 1960s. And within the shrine is earth from the well of the prophet Elijah on Mount Carmel. Another feature you'll notice is the medieval gatehouse that was once entrance to the priory, but it now leads to the peace garden. It's here you'll find tiles 
with the words peace in many, many different languages from around the world. It's from the gatehouse, following the path to the left of the main shrine, you find yourself on the Rosary Way. And it's here, in spring, that you'll find the magnificent 300 year old magnolia tree in full bloom. And it leads to another peaceful garden, that, considering how close you are to a busy motorway, is incredibly tranquil. Now I'm looping back to the very entrance where you'll find the Friars Tea Room and Gift Shop where you can find some substance for yourself or perhaps pick up a bag of bird food for the duck pond. So that wraps up this video. I hope you like what you put together, something a little different from us this time. If you've enjoyed it, why not click like and subscribe for something a little different next time.